Welcome back to More Sip to Tally. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to have a little story time. And what I mean by that is I'm going to try to paint a picture for you based off something I saw or was watching yesterday. Here goes. I was watching Brent Coleman's video called Elite, and it's about the uh, pass rushers in this year's draft. He said something in that video that stood out to me that I didn't know. He said that the three cone drill is kind of a kind of an accurate picture of how well an edge guy can bend. And as we all know, the bendingness of an edge guy correlates to sex. So that struck me as interesting and something I didn't know. And, you know, something I'm going to put in my tool bag or toolbox as far as when I scout for upcoming years. So what I decided to do was go back. I went back nine years and looked at the top three cone guys from each draft and see if they're correlated to sex. And so what I did was when I was looking at those guys, I didn't just pick the the first edge or defensive end that I saw. I wanted to pick a name that was relevant to me or that I at least knew because a lot of times the first name was somebody from some small school that ran a ridiculous number that probably was undersized playing out of position. So these next nine names will be guys that, that I know of, and they were the fastest three cone or close to the fastest three cone at the defensive end or edge position in that draft. So first up in 2013, Barkevius Mingo. He had a 6.84. In 2014, Anthony Barr had a 6.82. 2015, Vic Beasley had a 6.91. Joe Schobert had 7.11. Tyus Bowser. 6.75, Harold Landry, 6.88, and in 2019, Chase Winovich, 6.97, 2020, Jonathan Greenard, 7.13, 2021, Adafi Owe, 6.83, and last year, Aiden Hutchinson, 6.73. Now combined, when I added all those times together and averaged them out, it was 6.97. While editing, I realized I made a mistake. It's 6.91, not 6.97. Just under a, a seven three cone drill. So next what I did was I went and looked at the sack leaders from 2022. I got the top 10 sack leaders and I went and found what their three cone drill was at the combine. And to give a bigger picture or a bigger pool of players, not only did I do 2022, I did 2021. And so I'm going to give you those, and some of the people overlap, but I'm going to give you those sack leaders and their three cone time. And then we got, we have a number to kind of base this off of. So the average of those nine top guys was 6.91. So anything in that area should correlate to a guy that can get around the edge and get to the QB. We're going to start with 2022. Nick Bosa led the league in sacks with 18.3. His three cone was 7.10. Miles Garrett had 16 sacks, but he didn't do this drill at the combine. Miles Garrett is on this list twice, so you know, I won't mention him anymore. Hassan Reddick, part of the 70 sack Baltimore Eagles last year. I mean not Baltimore Eagles, Philadelphia Eagles. He had 16 sacks. His three cone was 7.01. Matt Judon, 7.67. Chris Jones, which in his number was amazing to me, 7.44 to be that size. Next up is Alex Highsmith, 7.32. He had 14 and a half sacks. Then Michael Parsons, 13.5 sacks, 6.89. Max Crosby, which this number surprised me. He had 12 and a half sacks, not the 12 and a half sacks, but his three cones surprised me. 6.89, the same exact one as Michael Parsons. Brian Burns, 12 and a half sacks, 7.01. And then J.J. Watt, not T.J., college J.J. Watt, 12 and a half sacks, 6.88. And again, giving you 2021 also to give a bigger pool and, and let, let's just see that that year is not an anomaly. And again, the base number is 6.91. That's the base number. So in 2021, T.J. Watt led in sacks with 22 and a half. If I'm not mistaken, it might be a record. I think that's an NFL record. 
He has 6.79. In 2021, Robert Quinn had 18 and a half sacks. His was 7.13. And Garrett is next with 16. Garrett had two 16 sack years in a row. Wow. Next up, Nick Bosa, which we already spoke on. Trey Henderson had 14 sacks, and his was 7.01. Then you have Michael Parsons again. Now you got Aaron Donald, the D tackle. The only D tackle on this list. The only one. 12 and a half sacks, 7.11. You got Cam Jordan from the Saints, 12 and a half sacks, 7.07. Judon's on here again. And the only guy that's listed in the top times and on the sack leaders list, Harold Landry, 12 sacks. And we already talked about it earlier, 6.88. So that there's truth to that notion that the three cone drill leads to bendiness. Because if the, the, the base number is 6.91, a bunch of these numbers float right or right above it or right below it. Now let's take a look at this year's upcoming draft, which is the gra- the draft is less than a week away. And I wonder if any of these five young bucks will be one of the t- top sack leaders in two, three, four, five years. The top five three cone guys, well, edge three cone guys, are Jose Ramirez from Eastern Michigan. He had a 6.95. Lucas Van Ness from Iowa, 7.02. Habuka Baldonado, and I know I butchered his first name, I'm sorry, from Pittsburgh, 7.11. Byron Young, the Byron Young from Tennessee, 7.19. And then my personal favorite to hopefully hit that top threshold of sacks in any given number of years, four, five, six, seven years from now, Isaiah Land from FAMU with a 7.20. So I wonder if any of those young bucks will be on this list in 2026, 2027, 2028. And when Brent Coleman said that, you know, during the his video, I stopped it right then because that was really interesting to me. I came home, I did this research, and this is the results of my research for you. I hope you like the story time. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate everybody for coming over to More Sip to Tally. Um, if you want to help the channel grow, it's Patreon, PayPal, uh, all that good stuff is you know with my main channel. But that, the main channel also funds this channel kind of like the NBA helps fund the uh, other league, the WNBA. So it is what it is. Appreciate you guys. See y'all soon. Happy Draft Week.